Right, so uh, this is a little bit of a video to show how to set up a Kubernetes cluster locally on your own system, on in this case just a laptop, uh, as an alternative to running it on AWS or GCP or any of the other cloud service providers, um, because that costs money. So let's go ahead and, and run this. Um, I'll just show first that for your own environment how you may want to modify this. Um, Let's go into, I just put this in the Vagrant folder and uh, um, I'm just naming these clusters, uh, just numbering them, number 17. So go in there. Um, let's copy the uh, Vagrant file from the previous cluster in here. So we have that here. And then we can look at the Vagrant file in Atom and modify uh, the names of the pods, or sorry, of the names of the VMs and the IP addresses. So we're doing three instances, uh, one master, two worker nodes. For each of the instances we go through and we set this up. Uh, you probably want to modify the name. So in our case we want to modify it to be 17 because that's the cluster 17 we do now. You also match that to the IP address uh, in my case. Again, use whatever you want. Um, I match this, match this to the cluster name or numbers so that it's easy to track. But by all means, do what you wish. We set the uh, VM IP addresses to 200 plus the node ID or node name, uh, oh, sorry, node, node number. So it'll start off with 201 and then two and three, as we can see in here, right? Uh, after that, we, we use VirtualBox for this. Um, so VirtualBox needs to be installed uh, in order for this to work. And um, we set it up with about three gigs of memory each and two vCPUs. It needs to have at least two CPUs or Kubernetes will not run. Uh, if you go down, we update like the, the host file and the network settings for DNS. We disable swap, which has to be done because otherwise Kubernetes won't run either. Uh, we install Kubernetes. Um, down here and install the SSH keys. This is something that you, I recommend, put in your own SSH key in here. Uh, you could ask, access them from the console as well. If you do, you can use the username Vagrant and the password Vagrant, but you can't SSH into them until you have changed this. Then we install Docker and some other stuff. Um, we set up packet forwarding in IP tables and we also uh, configure them the master node. So we check is the node that we're setting up right now, number one. Uh, if it is the first node, then we go through and do this. Uh, the main thing we're doing is initializing the cluster. Advertise address is the IP address of the cluster, of the, oh, sorry, of this node, of this VM. Um, and this is where we're setting up the CNI, the uh, container networking. Uh, we are using Flanel for this, which means that we have to use a network with 10.244. Uh, so uh, match this, that's quite important, otherwise it won't work. The setup that we're doing later on with Flanel is down here. Uh, so if you have a look at this Flanel file, you'll see that the IP address is mirrored in there, or the, the subnet. If you modify both, I'm sure that you can have a different subnet as well if you wish, but I'm using the default here. Uh, let's uh, have a look, when we're actually setting this up, let's have a look at the Flanel file, because I've modified that in one way. And uh, so that is set in a shared folder one level up, you can push that into anywhere you want, I guess. But I modified this in one location, that is um, for the interface of the VM, so that it'll pick the right interface. Uh, and um, this should be correct, uh, also if you run this on another machine. But if it is not, if it doesn't work, this may be an area where you may have to have a look and change the interface name to match. So after we're done with that, it will set up the load balancer. Uh, it will just set it up from here. So it needs network access or internet access to do that. It installed Metal LB, which is a fantastic load balancer. Uh, really great. And this is a configuration file that I prepared for this, for standard level two networking. Uh, that is also in the same shared folder. So let's go and have a look at that too. And uh, change this. So essentially, every time you create a service, uh, in Kubernetes later on, it will pick an IP address from this IP range and assign that to the service, so you can access it from outside. Very handy. We'll save that as well, so it'll match the subnet. That is the end of the master node configuration. Then we start the worker node. Uh, what we're doing in here is we are essentially taking 
the um, output from here, from when we did the um, the, uh, the initialization of the cluster, we push that into the share and um, into a, a bash file, basically a, a normal script, a shell script. And uh, we skip the verification because you can grab on that as well. I just haven't bothered, but uh, it'll take then uh, that output from the the join of the cluster, and then it'll use that then to to make this um, this worker node, each worker node, a member of that cluster. So just copy it across to its own folder, and it will change the uh, permissions on it, and then it'll run it. And with that, we should be done. Save that and see if we can actually do it. So we have the file there, and then we do there on top. While we're doing this, we can have a quick look and see, so we can watch for when these VMs are being created. So we can see all three. Every two seconds. So we have the first one up there, and then we'll see the other to joining it uh, shortly. So it'll take a few minutes, so I'll just leave it here. And there it is. Now we have finished the setup. Uh, the nodes are all up. So let's see if we can SSH into them. Um, I have, uh, let's see here now. We use 17.21 was the master node. So you see that's up and it lets us in and that's that's it pretty much. So if we check, see if, if the nodes are in there, the worker nodes have joined. We can see they are not only joined, they are also ready. They are um, essentially up and running. So we can use these now to um, run workloads if we so desire which is quite nice. So that's the that's the whole installation done.